Okay. It's our job to completely review chapter 10. And we're going to do it really quick. Are you ready? We're going to start with prisms. All of the prisms, their volume is the area of their base times the height. Now, I've got a rectangular base here as an example. The area of the rectangular base is 12 times 10 times the height of the pyramid. Ta-da! That's it. If this were a triangular base, it would be 12 times 10 divided by 2 times 8. Okay? Find the area of the base, multiply it by the height. To find the surface area. Now, this is a rectangular prism, which means I'm going to have the area of two bases, the area of two sides, the area of the front and the back. So, the area of the bases is 12 times 10 times 2, because there's two of them. The area of the sides is 10 by 8 times 2, because there's two of them. The area of the front is 12 times 8 times 2, because there are two of them. And you're going to equal those out, and you're going to add them up, and that's your volume of your rectangular prism. Hit pause so you can figure that out really quick. Ah, 120, 240, 80, 160, uh, it's 96, is 196, 96 is 192, that's a 2, 2, 19, 2, 3, 4, 5, 592 meters squared. Remember that surface area is squared and this one is cubed. Uh, 12 times 10 times 8 is 960 meters cubed. Okay, if this were triangular, you'd have to find the area of the triangle, the area of all of the rectangular sides, so you have the area of the base times 2, and then side 1, side 2, side 3. You have to do triangles separately unless you've got a regular triangle where all the base sides are the same length. Next we're going to do pyramids. Now, when you're finding the volume, it's the area of the base times the height of the pyramid divided by 3. So, it's the area of the base times the height of the pyramid divided by 3 because it comes to a point. So, the area of the base is 15 times 11 times the height of the pyramid, which is 10, and then divided by 3. So we get out our handy and trusty. So that's Hesty. 15 times 11 times 10 equals divided by 3 equals 550 meters cubed. Because it's volume, it's cubed. Now the surface area. If this is a rectangular surface area, now, before we did square-based pyramids, we're going to do a rectangular-based pyramids now. So, so 15 times 11. This is 15 times 11, and there's only one of them. Okay, side 1. 15 times my slant height of 13. 15 times 13 times one half, because it's a triangle, but there's two of them. There's a 15 here and a 15 here, so there's two of them. Side two, this one, I'm going to have 11 by 13, 11 by 13 by one half, because it's a triangle, times two, because there are two of them. Now I've got all four sides. If this makes you uncomfortable, if you don't see how there's an 11 here and an 11 here, then do each one of them individually. You can do that. If you have a triangular-based pyramid, then you need to do each side individually because more than likely your triangle base is a scaling triangle, unless you lucked out and somebody loves you. So I'm done here. I don't need these because I've got two here and two here. I've got my four sides. So I'm going to have 15 times 11, which is... 165 and 15 times 13 times 2 divided by 2 is 195 and 11 times 13 
times 2 divided by 2 is 143 plus 195 plus 165 is 503 meter. I love meters, don't I? Squared. Oh, that's okay. All right. All right, that's pyramids. You got volume, you got surface area. If they come to a point, you divide them by three. All right, then we have the ones that have circle bases. Our circle bases. We have a cylinder, we have a cone. Our cylinder, we to find the volume. Volume is the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. The area of your circle is pi r squared times the height of your pyramid. So we are doing 3.14 times 4 times 4 times 8. We're dropping that into our calculator to find out what it is. 3.14 times 4 times 4 times 8 is 401.9 meters cubed. Now the surface area, remember we've got two bases, a top and a bottom, and we've got one big rectangle. Now the area of our base is pi r squared times 2, because there's two of them. So it's 3.14 times 4 times 4 times 2. And then we have this, which this rectangle is the height of the cylinder times the circumference of this circle. So the area of the rectangle is the height, which is 8 times 2 pi r. So I got 8 times 2 times 3.14 times 4. And I'm going to multiply that out and I'm going to add them together. Your job is going to be to work yours. Nope, nope. I got to figure this out. Hang on, 3.14 times. 4 times 4 times 2 is 100.48. And 8 times 2 times 3.14 times 4 is 200.96, and when I add them together, plus 100.48, I get 301.44 that I round off, and that's meters squared. Fantastic. When you're doing cylinders, area of the base times the height, just like this, divided by 3. So we've got pi r squared, pi r squared times the height of the pyramid, the, the, what is this? This is a cone, 14, not the slant height, the height of the cone, times 14 divided by 3. So 3.14 times 6 times 6 times 14 divided by 3. All right. What is that? 3.14 times 6 times 6 times 14 divided by 3 equals... Holy mackerel, 3.14 times 6 times 6 times 14 equals, divided by 3 equals, there we go, 527.52 inches cubed. Surface area is pi r squared plus pi r l. We're going to put this right into our calculator. So 3.14 times 6 times 6 and 3 point plus 3.14 times 6 times 15. 3.14 times 6 times 6 equals memory plus 3.14 times 6 times 15 equals memory plus memory remember 395.64 which I'm leaving it as 0.6 inches squared. Fantastic. All right, you have a test coming up. You have a test that means you go to outdoor school or you don't. Please, please, please do well on your test. Now, this is one of those tests where you can get partial credit if you at least show me that you did the right numbers, you're just, your finger missed on the calculator. If you don't show me any work, I can't give you partial credit. I have to see your matrix. And this, this is really important. I have to see your matrix, okay? Each problem, each question is going to be worth more than just one point. It's more than just a right answer. It's it's, can I work the problem? You've got six shapes here, and you have to find the surface area and the volume of each shape. You've got to know exactly what number is for what and goes where, and you don't have this number yet. Hang on.
that is the height. And if that's nine, that's a little shorter, so that's gonna be eight meters. All right, so you've got an orange triangular pyramid. Orange triangular pyramid with a base triangle of eight by two. It's got sides of eight, seven, and six. It has a pyramid height of eight and a slant height of nine. You have a rectangular pyramid. And it's got a base of five by six. It's got a height of seven and a slant height of eight. <coughs> you have a rectangular prism that is 11 by eight by six. You have a cylinder with a radius of nine and a height of 19. You have a cone with a radius of a nine, again, and a height, a slant height of 20 and a cone height of 18. And you have a triangular prism where your base triangle is 16 by seven and it has sides of 16, 11, and nine with a height of four. You are doing surface area and volume. So six questions have 12 answers and are worth 48 points. So good luck, good luck, good luck. Practice, please. Get good at this. I'll see you tomorrow.